Hello viewers, welcome back to GT Spoken English. So in last class what we have seen means active passive. Statement form, how to change one statement from active to passive. So that's the thing we have seen in last class. So today what we are going to see means active to passive question type. It is yes or no type question. So how to change one active yes or no type question to passive form. So that's the thing we are going to see today. See the sentence. Do you like this? Okay. So first thing as we told you already in the last class. You should know to find out the tense. What tense it is and what sentence it is. Okay. So see the sentence. Do you like this? The question word is do. So it is symbol present. Okay. So if you need to change one sentence from a sort of type to passive form. First, what you have to do means, you change this yes or no type sentence into statement form. Okay, so change this yes or no type sentence into statement form. So, statement form is on subject, verb and object. Okay, so for simple person is, if you need yes or no type sentence as statement, what you have to do means, so just you remove the ancillary verb do. That means, this is statement, you like this. Okay. So now this statement sentence you change into passive form. This statement change into passive. Subject, verb, object. The last class itself we have seen that what are the changes will be there from active to passive. Okay. So, so subject will be changed into object and object will change into subject. And you have to include one B form then change the verb into third form. And Finish this object with the word by. Okay. So these are the instructions already we have learned. So same thing now we have done. There is a statement and that statement we have changed into passive form. Now we need passive yes or no question. Okay. So what you have to do means after the subject what is the B form. So when you learn the tense grammar previous classes itself we have learned that if you need to frame yes or no question. What is the B form given in a sentence? That B form if you bring it first that is yes or no question. Okay. So same rules will be followed here. After the subject there is one B form. So if you bring this B form first. Passive question will be ready. So what is the answer now? Is this. Liked by you. Next to sentence is, are they collecting flowers? Are they collecting flowers? So this is yes or no type. Are with ing. What's it? Continuous tense. Okay. So this is also yes or no. How to change into statement form. So one statement if you need to frame question. I told you if you bring the B form outside that is question type. So same rule if you need to change one question to statement means if you bring the B form inside that is statement. Okay. So they are collecting plus. Your question given or they collecting plus. You change that sentence into statement form. That means bring the B form inside. They are collecting plus. But simple presence that is different because when we frame question there is no B form already. So we have included one axillary verb. Okay. So that's why we remove that word and hence we get the statement. Simple presence and simple process only this rule. And remaining tenses if you see already we have taken the B form outside for a solo type question. Now if we need statement just enter the B form after the subject. Okay. So now your sentence is they are collecting plus. Change into passive form. Object change into Subject. Plus. Singular or plural. Plus is plural. And already the subject is here. Plural. So B form used are. They are. Plus. Are. And for the continuous we will include the B form. Being. Okay. So plus or being. Collect. Collect third form is. Collected. Collected. 
What is the subject? They. Change into object with the verb by. They change into them. Plants are being collected by them. Now you frame question. It means bring the beef from outside. You will get your answer. A plants B collected by the A plants being collected by the So yes or not type is change into statement form the statement change into passive form so that passive sentence what B form is given that B form if you bring first that is passive question type okay did the government award him did is a symbol of symbol past okay so symbol present and past what i told you what the adjective were given just if you remove this word this sentence is statement form okay so did is the symbol of past so we remove the did statement form there is a word awarded the government awarded him now change into passive form object subject and singular b form simple past tense singular b form what it is was awarded ed form past form ed means past participle also ed so he was Awarded subject is the government. Okay, so finish with the word by the government. He was awarded by the government. So this is statement passive. Now bring the be from outside. Was he awarded by the government? That's all. Next example. Will he visit her next month? Will he visit her next month? Will he change into statement? He will. Okay. He will visit her next month. Change into passive form. First divide it. Subject, verb, object, next month. This is adjunct, additional word. Okay, so only we have to see the subject, verb and object. That's very, very important for changing the pattern. And what is remaining, you just add it after finish this rule. Okay, so that's all. So, he will visit her. This is the sentence. Okay, object. Bring it first. She. And what's the B form? Will. Future B form. What B form we will include for future? B. Okay, so she will be visit. Third form is visited by subject. Change in the object. Now bring this B form first. Well, she continuation. Be visited by him. Okay. So, will she be visited by him? Future passive question type. Next. Have they done the project? This is have be form. Okay. Have has means it is present. Perfect tense. And verb it is already used. Third form. Okay. So, no need to change. So, have they done the project? Bring the be form inside. They have done the project. Change into passive. The project. Object change into Subject, the project. See, they is plural. So, B form they have used have. Okay. So, they have done. Now, see, the project or object when we write as the subject, this is singular. Only one project. So, that means the B form is not have. It is has. The project has been. For perfect tense, what B form it will include means the word be okay so the project has been 
डन बाय हु हैज डन दिस दे सो दे चेंज इनटू दम नो व्हाट हैव टू डू द प्रोजेक्ट हैज बीन डन बाय दम हैज इज द बी फॉर्म ओके सो फर्स्ट बी फॉर्म इज हैज टू बी फॉर्म्स आर देयर बट वी हैव टू टेक द फर्स्ट बी फॉर्म आउटसाइड आंसर ओके हैज द प्रोजेक्ट बीन डन बाय दम दैट्स ऑल सो on a sono type sentence if you need to change into passive form simple method is change that yes sono type sentence into statement form so if you are familiar with statement form change this statement into passive from the passive what's the b form given what's the b form we have included there that b form if you bring it outside that is passive question type okay so like this you can also write the examples and practice so you can understand thanks for watching